All right, Earthbound Army. Uh, today's the first video of Earth One. So it's the weekend. We're not doing any Earth Two videos. It's just Earth One today. Say hello, Eka. Hello. That's my boy right there. And uh, yeah, we'll just go through a day of what we do potentially on Earth One. Look, it's uh, 8 47 a.m. So pretty late waking up for us. The toilet. Ah, oh, man, don't show everybody you're in the toilet. Another one. Wow, nice. Wow. Just for breakfast. <laughs> hmm? That's not a healthy breakfast, is it? <laughs> so sad they're separating the children. He ain't even showing me for God. Look at these two guys. Look at these two guys waiting to uh, be fed this morning. What are you doing? Huh? Where's your pants? Go on. Who took your pants? Um, uh, Harry took it. But you are Harry. That's not a good throw. Bigger throw. Big one. What, you want to pour water in it? Yeah. What time is it? It's like 9 o'clock in the, in the morning. And we're playing water pistols. What are you shooting? Huh? You're shooting spider webs? Go! Shoot it! So here's the uh, grand tour of my garage gym that I have not been using for some time because I injured myself riding my bike and falling off. New addition, the treadmill. Where's the health hazard, guys? What? Oh man! Who's stronger? You gotta learn new skills? Are you going to do tumbles and flips? Are you going to do side kicks and front kicks? Tumbles, you know, flips, flips and tumbles. Alright guys, remember, restrictions still apply here in Sydney, be COVID safe. We got our mask on. So Harry's gone to his weekly uh, swimming with his mummy and I've just bought the boys some food because they'll be hungry by the time they finish and Edgar's doing his taekwondo and uh, that will take us up to about 11, nearly 12 o'clock then we'll go visit the in-laws. Let's have a deep philosophical discussion within five minutes <laughs> to talk about VR, to talk about Earth 2, to talk about what our expectations are and not about the money okay let's move away from the money move away from the investment but let's talk about the future of virtual reality the future of humans our lives how we will exist on a virtual space how will majority of people will want to live in a virtual world because their current experience in earth one may be so shit I'm not sure if you guys have watched the, the movie, I think The Surrogates with Bruce Willis, but essentially that really is a dystopian society where, you know, Bruce Willis has disconnected from his wife. I mean, they're really an older couple, but they live in this VR world, they're young again, um, and his wife can't break free from the fact that uh, she's getting older, she doesn't want to let go, so she's constantly spending her time in this VR world. And I wonder if that's like art imitating future life in the sense that we will slowly go down that track as well where we will find ourselves addicted and attached to a virtual reality world where we can be whatever we want to be, experience what we want to experience, but within certain limits, obviously. So where you may start a couple of hours a day, you know, it may end up being something where it's half a day. You're spending half a day just in this chamber with these goggles on living in this virtual world. So uh, is it going to be standard that in the future we just do business, interact in this VR world? Like we don't even, we don't mail people anymore, right? We don't write letters and send it off in the mail. We're instant. 
message, we text. We're getting to a point where I think people will, are getting very used to and accustomed to doing video chats. Um, whereas back in the day, you would just meet them face to face for coffee or whatever. So we're slowly becoming maybe a more detached society because of the internet, because of uh, technology. And if VR was to fully take off, really adopted by society, then one can only assume that we're going to be having most of our interactions through the VR space. And I wonder if that's good. I wonder if that's a good thing for humanity.